This is an Allegheny chinkapin. Allegheny chinkapin is native, and they used to be a lot more common. They're still around if you go looking for them. Uh, this particular chinkapin I planted for wildlife, <coughs> excuse me, Allegheny chinkapin is related to American chestnut. And if we find an old leaf on this Allegheny chinkapin, this is in Fagaceae family, and like most things in Fagaceae, they hold their leaves through the winter. They'll hold on to the dead leaves through winter. Uh, this leaf looks like a miniature American chestnut leaf. Uh, they have a serrated leaf edge. Actually, it's a toothed leaf edge. Each little vein ends in a tooth, a tiny tooth. You should note that the underside of, of Allegheny chinkapin is downy. They're fuzzy on the underside of the leaf. American chestnut, longer leaf, bigger teeth, and smooth. Likewise, the twigs on Allegheny chinkapin, they are slender, uh, gray-brown, and, and the buds are uh, like they're shaped like a kernel of wheat, and they will be reddish gray. They're gray because they're covered in fuzz. The Allegheny chinkapin will flower in late spring, early summer, and they'll have long catkins, they'll elongate, and uh, they're really quite fragrant, uh, a, little, a little stinky. They ripen up <coughs> into fruits that are burrs, they're surrounded by burrs, and they're a teardrop-shaped nut. 